And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the experience here live at Far Point 25. And uh, I want to thank Mary for doing the interview earlier today. And now I'm being joined from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Batman the Animated Series. He was Sid the Squid. Sid the Squid, one of the most iconic episodes in Batman the Animated Series. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But I'm being joined by Mr. Matt Frewer. Good morning. Matt, Hello. Oh, let me fix that so people oh. can see you better. Yes. Because nobody wants to see me. Oh, am I supposed to hold no, the selfie stick? No, I'll hold stick? it for oh, you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a your selfie stick, not a my selfie stick. Yes. Yes. Got it. yes. Now, now, we were actually joking about selfie sticks uh, beforehand and about being in crowds and how they're, they're very, very horrible. Well, they're kind of obnoxious, aren't they? Because, they, you know, basically what you've done is redefine your, uh, your personal space because now it's as long as the selfie stick goes. So it's, uh, they, there's a... Uh, a kind of five foot radius around you that uh, is, is going to be you're going to be knocked out by uh, by a selfie stick. They're they're uh... it's an invasion of personal space. Yes, I, I definitely agree, and I only use this for professional reasons. Plus, it looks like a putter. It does kind of look like a putter. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. We, you want to do some putt putt after this? I think we should. All right, let's a do that. Pitch and putt with your selfie stick. All right, yeah, that sounds like a plan. Now. Uh, real quick, before we get into Batman the Animated Series, I wanted to talk about Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, which sure. is a movie that I grew up with. It's mm-hmm. something that you know I fondly remember. I actually have it on DVD at home. Mm-hmm. Number one question I have to ask is, is uh, what was it like uh, working with Rick Moranis? Obviously, we know that he isn't acting now, but what was it like working with him when he was? Uh, Rick and I became great friends on the shoot and for a while afterwards, too. He, he's a, a fantastic guy, and um, he's, he's quite quiet and studious and quite serious. You know, which was which was kind of a surprise, but uh, we we had a lot of fun. We we terrorized a lot of uh, Mexican restaurants. That's where we shot it down in Mexico. Uh, every night after work, we'd uh, we'd sort of uh, God, we'd we'd bet each other our you know our per diem that we wouldn't you know the the other one wouldn't throw a Montequilla ball, a butter ball into elect, and an electric fan, and that sort of became the ongoing uh, uh, bet. So you'd you'd have your per diem and pesos to sort of pile of <laughs> pile of sort of it was like monopoly money and we, we were uh, yeah we would just sort of bet each other that we uh, uh, we were getting on the verge of getting thrown out of a lot of restaurants but it was fun all right and then what, what was the overall experience uh doing a movie like that and having the type of success with that movie uh, that it had well you know all all credit to joe johnson who was the the brilliant uh, director of the uh, of the show and it was it was fantastic to do it and of course it was you know pre-digital so all the all the oversized props weren't cgi they were actually oversized props so you had the the giant Cheerios and the and the giant uh, uh, ant puppet, which which was a blast. I, I just thought it was so funny because they they had um, uh, a, a Mexican puppet crew working it, and it was fantastic because there would be one one guy on each caliper and one guy on each leg, and uh, it was all uh, beautifully choreographed by by the 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 master puppeteer who would sort of go uno dos tres uno dos tres, and you get one leg one leg caliper one leg one leg. Caliper. Caliper. And uh, you know, I'd, I'd be like, I'm, I'm trying to do my lines here. Okay, one or two, stress, one or Still kind of distracting. One or two, stress. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was very funny. Um, and then uh, moving on to the next one, I want to talk to you about was Batman the animated series. Mm-hmm. You actually voiced Sid the Squid in what is considered one of the more iconic episodes, along with you know, and there's a lot of iconic episodes in that series. But you got the one where. Said the squid was the man who everyone thought killed Batman. Yeah. What was it like voicing a character that had that type of impact in just one episode? I, you know, it was. It, it's great because you come in and you and you make a splash in a in a, in a short uh, amount of time. You know, so it, it, uh, it, it was fun to do that, and, and absolutely, it was a, it, it was a, a great to be asked and 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 fun to do it. Yeah, it was it was a while ago, but I I, uh, I do remember doing it. Yeah, like like, and, and one of the funniest things for me is is that I watched the remake of Dawn of the Dead uh, mm-hmm. by George A. Romero, and then I saw you in the movie, and I was like, wait a minute, that's Big Russ Thompson. Yeah, and I was like, so what was it like for you to be part of that remake uh, for? Uh, 
for that? Um, well, you know, Zack Snyder, uh, fantastic. He he was uh, he's one of those directors who the, who the, the crew goes the extra mile for, and and was was lovely to work with. And uh, Dawn of the Dead was it was fun to work on. I I mean, it was uh, kind of a, a tortured sequence, <laughs> you know, it was a, a father daughter relationship and. And uh, he get he gets bitten and knows that he's knows that he's gonna die and uh, uh, it uh, it was it was cool working on it you know all right and last question where can the people find you on social media and what upcoming appearances or shows do you have coming up uh, I'm I'm not a big social media guy I'm I'm not on uh, Twitter uh, I um, but you can see me in uh, Altered Carbon I I'm in the first season of Altered Carbon uh, in episode of five and six, I guess, and hopefully we do another season of that. And I've got a, a, a mini series coming up called uh, "The Truth About the Harry Kubert Affair," uh, directed by a, an amazing uh, director called Jean Jacques Anou, and that's that should be coming out next summer. All right. Well, Mr. Frewer, thank you so much you. for coming on. It's been a pleasure. And an honor. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our Far Point coverage here this weekend. I thank you all for watching. And coming up next for the experience, we'll be at Awesome Con in Washington D.C., which we will have so much coverage because I will also be on panels, which you'll see on uh, my multifaceted page as well. So until next time, we will see you on the flip side.